Hello there. The fourth round of the Brexit negotiations concluded today, with Michel Barnier saying that we cannot accept this backtracking on the political declaration. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost, and I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. Now that round four of the Brexit trade deal negotiations have concluded, both the head of the EU team, Michel Barnier, and his UK opposite number, David Frost, have issued their assessments of progress. Now, David Frost's statement is up on Twitter and is quite short and reads as follows. We have just completed our fourth full negotiating round with the EU, again by video conference. It was a little shorter than usual and more restricted in scope. We continue to discuss the full range of issues, including the most difficult ones. Progress remains limited, but our talks have been positive in tone. Negotiations will continue and we remain committed to a successful outcome. We are now at an important moment for these talks. We are close to reaching the limits of what we can achieve through the format of remote formal rounds. If we are to make progress, it is clear that we must intensify and accelerate our work. We are discussing with the Commission how this can best be done. We need to conclude this negotiation in good time to enable people and businesses to have certainty about the trading terms that will follow the end of the transition period at the end of this year, and, if necessary, to allow ratification of any agreements reached. For our part, we are willing to work hard to see whether at least the outline of a balanced agreement covering all issues can be reached soon. Any such deal must of course accommodate the reality of the UK's well-established position on the so-called level playing field, on fisheries and the other difficult issues. And I particularly liked his reference to getting things done quickly to ensure certainty. And now this bit is important where he said, if necessary, to allow ratification of any agreements reached. If necessary, to allow ratification of any agreements reached. Not to make sure or to make certain that any agreement will be ratified. No, if necessary, to allow ratification of any agreements reached. Surely that'll have Brussels in a spin, because for me it's definitely putting out a message that a deal is by no means certain. That's called negotiating tactics. Anyway, on the EU side, Michel Barnier is definitely not a happy bunny at the moment, and he's been quite scathing in his assessment of the UK team's negotiating tactics, saying that we cannot continue like this forever. And, however, at the end of this week, my responsibility, under the authority of President Ursula von der Leyen, as union negotiator, is to tell you the truth. And the truth is that there was no substantial progress. And in the EU Commission press statement, Barnier says things like, We engaged in this negotiation on the basis of a joint political declaration that clearly sets out the terms of our future partnership. And after saying that, he said rather pointedly, this document is available in all languages, including English. It is a good read, if I may say so. What is he suggesting? Anyway, after that he went on to say, Yet round after round, our British counterparts seek to distance themselves from this common basis. And also, we cannot accept this backtracking on the political declaration. He also referred to the UK shutting down talk about an extension to the implementation period, saying, On our side, as President Ursula von der Leyen has said, we were always open to the possibility of a one- or two-year extension, as foreseen in the withdrawal agreement. Our door remains open. 
And then he went through four areas where he thinks the UK is falling short in the talks. Those are the level playing field, nuclear safety on the civil side, anti-money laundering and the idea of an overarching institutional framework or governance to oversee the whole agreement. And he said under each heading that we are today very far from this objective. And added beneath them, in all these areas and many others, the UK continues to backtrack on the commitments it has undertaken in the political declaration. Now looking at those issues, I would instantly surmise that these are the areas that Brussels sees as them having the final call on jurisdiction over. The UK did not leave the European Union just to plonk itself straight back in again, so we're not likely to want to be under any EU jurisdiction at all, are we? But Barnier and his team also have four sticking points, as he put it. The first two are fisheries and free and fair competition, the so-called level playing field, two essential elements of the new economic partnership we want to build. Then we have guarantees protecting people's fundamental rights and freedoms needed to underpin a close police and judicial cooperation in criminal matters. And finally, the governance of our future relationship. Once again, all areas where the EU wants the UK to give up its control over. But there is also a bit of heartening news in there for Brexiteers, especially those worried about some form of military union via the back door. On this, Michel Barnier said, Finally, let me remind you that since the beginning of these negotiations, the UK has refused to talk about our cooperation on foreign policy development and defence even though we agreed this with Boris Johnson in the political declaration. To tell the truth, as a former Minister for Foreign Affairs in my own country, I still don't understand why. Well, we Brexiteers understand exactly why. And I sniff a bit of panic from the EU side, don't you? Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.